Boom. What's up, everybody? My name is Kim Scoggle, and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can stack images to make star trails in Affinity Photo. They made it really easy, um, and you can even use raw files and stack them together. Uh, it's not a whole lot to it, but this is kind of a longer one because my computer isn't running optimum, so I had to cheat a little bit and uh, pre-do some steps. So I'm going to go over what I did to get to those steps, and then we're going to take a look at the results and how you blend it together to get the, uh, the star trail effect. If you like this tutorial, please hit that uh, subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and uh, leave some comments down below. I'll see you all inside. Okay, so we're inside Affinity Photo and I have had to cheat on this one because the computer just can't handle the screen recording while stacking and merging the uh, 102 raw files I have put together to make the star trail you saw in the beginning. So <clears throat> when you open up Affinity Photo, you just open it up, you get that dialog box up that comes you can create a new or cancel, just hit cancel. You're gonna be left with just this background, no artboard on or document there. You go up to fill, you go to stack, you hit stack. Make sure you uncheck this uh, automatically align images. Use perspective. I would not recommend you clicking on this if you use a lot of images like this image back here, that's 15 gigabytes. This computer used over an hour and a half just to stack them. And then another hour to merge visible. It's running super slow. That's why I can't do this live. So the, what you do, you add photos, hit the add button. You navigate to wherever you have your photos. You mark them, how many you want, all of them, preferably. They're gonna show up here and then you hit OK. It's gonna just looks like nothing is happening, but just leave it be and uh, all of a sudden you're gonna have this image up here. But you can see there are no stars here and you won't have these two layers here. You will only have this one. So if you click this chevron, you can drop down and you can see all the images you have used to create this image. So you can close it and then you're gonna go over here next to the visible make visible uh, checkbox you're gonna have FX click it and then you're gonna choose maximum that just puts priority for all the highlights and this will take a little bit on this computer and you can see up here when it's working this way this way you start to see star trails okay so we have the star trails here what I highly recommend you do if you don't have an exorbious amount of RAM is uh, and that is 64 and above is you make a merge visible of this this image here so you right click on it right click on it and then merge visible and you're gonna end up with this layer and then you can save I highly recommend saving this saving this image at this point because uh, it takes a long time to get back to there so at least you have it saved and if you want to bring out more of the stars you can just take a levels adjustment layer it's going to take a few minutes for it to take effect here but you can see you can uh, bump up or take down the blacks a little bit make them black blacker and then you can adjust here on your gamma how you want it to be. But my other trick is once you have saved it like this, you don't need to do this. You copy this layer by command or control C or a command or control J. You take that extra layer and now you go up to file again. You make a new and then you put it in your template or wherever it is. You just make a new uh, layer or a new uh, background, new document, hit create and then you have the artboard up and you paste it in here 
and you do all your editing off of this merge visible layer which I have down here because now you can free up some machine resources you can close down this if you have saved it and then you do all your working on it here and remember if you're gonna print it to make sure you soft proof it first for your correct uh, printer and paper so you make sure it looks the same on the print as on your computer and that's about it thank you all for watching and uh, if you liked it give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all next time